What's going on, everybody? It's been a little while um, from the God Podcast. New episode. Um, got a lot I need to talk about, a lot that I've been wanting to share. I shared it with my congregation, but uh, I need to do a separate video, which is which I'm doing now, to really get in depth about something the Lord uh, showed me uh, a couple of nights ago. I probably should have done this the same day at night. But having two little kids and everything and life pastoring, having a job, is it makes it, things a little tough. But nonetheless, here we are sharing uh, a dream that the Lord gave me. First off the top, I don't want to be the YouTuber that has the thumbnail every single day. God told me this. God told me that. Honestly, I see some YouTube channels like that. And I personally get turned off because it starts to get a little weird when God is constantly always in your spirit and your spirit dreams and vision dreams and vision. And it's like, it, it, it might pull you from the word only just getting these voices in your head. I'm not against it. Uh, God speaking in your spirit and, you know, giving you visions and dreams. I just think there should be a healthy balance. Um, I pray about my dreams before I have them. Um, after I have them, um, I always pray for the Lord to give me interpretation of it. But, um, um, so the word of God says we know in part, we prophesy in part, so God gives us parts of it. And I think the other part is for you to do, get it through prayer, through searching the word. And I, I so you have become a very healthy, balanced Christian. I don't think God gives you all of it in a dream because if he does, you won't go pray. You won't really go read your word. Um, so God is a God of order. Um, God is a jealous God. Uh, God is against divination and witchcraft. And unfortunately, there's a lot of that. Moving in the church in the body of Christ, um, and we got to start teaching people and showing them the way to be a balanced person. If you're gonna have dreams and visions from the Lord, fine, but you need to be praying, you need to be interceding, you need to be in your word, Amen. Because those are the things that God left behind, um, and it's very vital to every Christian to have these components together. So I I got woken up. Let me see, a couple of nights ago. I was in and I was in a um uh, intercession with my wife. And um it was before we went to sleep and uh, we were praying and uh, one of the things that I had prayed for, I said, Lord Jesus, um I was like, if there's uh, anything you want to show me, anything um that is coming, and I and I wasn't really thinking nation wise or uh the world or anything like that. I was more personally just thinking about myself, to be honest with you, if God had a word. Personally, uh, for me, um, I said, Lord, if there's just anything you want to show me, anything that's coming, anything you want to uh, warn me about, reveal to me, uh, anything, Lord, just take control of my dreams and show me. And sure enough, uh, I entered into a dream right away when I went to sleep. I started off first that I was standing in front of the White House. I was at the steps of the White House. And somebody had tapped me on my shoulder and said, hey, can you can you help us out with this? And I said, yeah, what do you need? I turned around and it was Donald Trump tapped my shoulder and said, can you help us fold uh, these flags? And just a disclaimer, I don't know anything about folding flags or anything or significance, meaning or anything like that. I'm going to get to it in a little bit, but just to let you know. So, um. We, I said, yeah, sure. And, you know, he has these big flagpole sized flags. He said, I need you to help these guys fold it. And when I looked, it was like the uh, like the color guards, the the people who come when uh, a veteran dies or something like that. And um, so I'm like, yeah, let's, let's fold it. I'm thinking we're going to fold the American flag. But the first flag he lays out on the steps was the Soviet Union flag. At first, I said, Soviet Union, they haven't been around since they got, you know, defeated in the World War. And I know there's been talks of, you know, President Putin, you know, potentially bringing that back. But I, I really didn't understand. And I said, well, why are we folding this? And Donald Trump in the dream said, we're preserving history. And he had like this smile on his face, like very proud of some kind of accomplishment. And he said, we're going to fold this flag. And it was the Soviet Union flag. So we're going to preserve what what we did. 
And I was going to start folding it like I'd fold a towel or something. And when I started folding it, the color guard guy said, hey, 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 that's not how you that's not how you fold the national flag. Uh, you have to fold it a certain way. And guys, I, I could go into detail and tell you like step by step exactly how he told me to fold it. So he's like, fold it like this. Then we're going to fold it like this. You know, long story short, we folded it um, into a triangle. And I didn't know why we folded it a certain way. I just thought you just fold it and that's it. The next flag was the flag of China. We folded that the same way. And then the third flag was the flag of Japan, which, by the way, I didn't know what the flag of Japan looked like. When I woke up, I had to uh, Google it. I said, uh, what is the flag with, you know, white with the red, big red dot in the middle? What does that mean? And so we fold these flags and I'm like, you know, why we have to fold this here? What's going on? And Donald Trump goes, hey, look outside. And I look outside, like not facing the White House. I start facing outside and I see a large arc, like Noah's Ark, parked in front of the White House. And a bunch of Christians were getting on this ark. So right, right away in the gym, I knew like this is an end times dream because Jesus said the last days would be like the days of Noah. They just dis discovered and confirmed Noah's Ark recently this year. This is symbolic of something. Everyone's getting on it. And uh, I knew it was Christians because I saw people from my congregation in there. I saw my family. I saw my wife getting on there with my kids. But I also saw a huge tsunami wave coming. And that's why everybody was getting on this ark. And I looked at this thing and I said, man, we're going to get washed away. Like, we're, we're, we're about to get it really bad. I don't know how we're going to survive this. And I'm like freaking out, scared. I look over to Donald Trump to see what he's going to say or what he's going to do. And he was to kind of like focus on his accomplishment, you know, smiling at these flags. And I didn't understand why. So when I'm looking at this thing, then I get somebody else tap me on my shoulder and it happened to be Nancy Pelosi. And when I looked at her meeting, I'm like, what's this wicked woman doing touching me? She goes, excuse me. And she hands me my son's diaper bag and my backpack. And she goes, make sure you, you, you know, take this with you. And whatever you do, make sure your family stays together. Don't let them get separated. You need to stay together, which to me, that shows also I interpreted it as we're in the last days. And I know the enemy is trying to bring a lot of division amongst families and churches, body of Christ, other Christians. We got to stop that. This is the time to be united not divided. That doesn't mean uniting with false believers, uniting with false doctrines and false brethren, but nonetheless, true believers being united. And um, she said, you know, stay with your family, stay with your kids. And her eyes were watery and she didn't really say it, but I felt it in my spirit that she had repented of all the wickedness. And I, I just heard in my spirit that she was like, she was like, man, I thought what I thought I was playing politics, but I was really playing with God. I, I, I didn't know this. And in my dream, she looked very broken and was crying and turned from whatever it is she was doing. And she was trying to get on the ark, too, and trying to make up for what she's she's done throughout the years. And I was like, this is this is bad. And, and then when I looked, this wave was about to crash and I was just ready to embrace it and get on, you know, and. And, and just just be ready to take it pretty much. And I woke up, I grabbed my phone, I woke up, I grabbed my phone and it's 3.33 in the morning. And just for the record, I'm not into angel numbers or any of that demonic garbage. Just just kind of weird that I got up at 3.33 in the morning. And I heard the Lord say, pray, and you need to research the meaning of what this, I'm trying to show you symbolic things for you to pray and do your research. So I looked up at 3.33, Three thirty-three in the morning. I said, "What does it mean when you fold a national flag like this, 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 and that?" And it, and I didn't know, but it popped up that, um, the when you fold the flag, it is called the the thirteen fold, um, symbolism for the flag. Every fold symbolizes uh different meanings. So when I started to look at it, it was like crazy. It was it was talking about freedoms as as a as an American, and also like things that we believe in as Christians, even the threefold and putting being folded into a triangle meant father, son, Holy spirit. And it also talks about, you know, it says uh, a nation under God, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, 
that doesn't mean Jesus Christ or the God of Christians. Well, yes, it does, because even the folding of the flag points to, towards the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I never knew this. I just saw it in my dream, looked it up, and what are the chances that it actually is a real thing? It's exactly how it was folded in my dream, and, and it all meant something. I said, wow, God is God is speaking. And you normally fold the flag like this when a soldier dies and you fold the flag and you, you give it to the mother. But that's only normally happens with the American flag. But we weren't folding American flags. We were folding the flags of these nations. As I got up to pray, I felt very strong in my spirit that this was symbolizing World War III. Why? Because these were nations we fought for, fought against, I'm sorry, in World War One and World War Two, and it was three flags. To me, that was representing the third war, World War Three. And it also symbolizes what Daniel said, that there'd be, you know, these nations that raise up, these kingdoms that raise up, and the third one will fail, will fall, and then you have this which will come through war, and then you have the fourth one, and then the Antichrist, and you have the Lord's kingdom be established. So I, I I saw this as a sign of World War III, and I saw Donald Trump in a place of position and power and authority when this was going on. But he, what he was failing to realize in my dream was the huge wave that was coming. He was so focused on defeating these nations that he didn't realize what was coming after the aftermath of these things. And what I believe this means is that, guys, I, I, I say this with with 100% assurance from the Lord that I believe World War III is going to happen in this, that whoever's going to become the next president, uh, which God has already shown me who wins, but I'm not going to become one of those YouTubers trying to become famous because of predictions of who's president, who's not. At the end of the day, may the, may the Lord's will be done. And uh, we, 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 we select the right person. But understanding that we're in the last days, we're in end times. And, um, the Antichrist government at some point is going to take control. We already see the spirit of Antichrist moving in and, and the United Kingdom right now. People go to jail off of Facebook posts and, and social media posts. And that stuff is coming. Uh, Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh have already said they're going to strip people of freedom of speech if it's offensive. Well, the gospel is offensive. So I guess Christians will be stripped. I believe that What's coming is the church. The church is going to be persecuted like never before. That's why we need to vote for the right person, not because it's going to stop it from happening, but it'll buy us some time because that's going to happen anyways. The persecution, such as we've never seen before, is here. I, I've prophesied this before. You have uh, foreign um, military men already in this nation by the millions. They're already inside of camps. I prophesied this way, way back. And those who've been a part of my church ministry, I've been, and whoever known me and, and as a friend, I had this vision about four years ago that I saw foreign boots on our soil invading. And, you know, when I used to tell people, they were like, I don't see that happening, but they didn't picture the way that they'd come and invade, which was through the border. So these things are happening. The Lord also gave me a word about the power grid failure a while back. And now you see pretty much every prophet, every man of God and every news outlet talking about the power grid going down. So these things are coming, guys. But what this was symbolizing was World War III is about to happen. I've been feeling in my spirit. Before this year ends, 2024, something horrible is going to happen. And it's going to impact this nation. Nation is going to be a nationwide event. Um whether it be the power grid, the civil war, World War Three, it's going to be a, a major scale event and it, it, it's coming. And I believe what the Lord was showing me was these things about World War Three, and, and then the aftermath of these things is I believe that that wave is a wave of persecution, tribulation, and God's final judgment coming upon the earth. And us getting on an ark was symbolizing the days of Noah, that God is going to preserve us when this thing, like Jesus said, I will, 
I will keep you from the hour of trial that is to come try all men, which people think that it means being raptured. No, that means God protecting you in the midst of all these things. And it was on this ark we were getting on. That was symbolic for me of protection and provision of the Lord for his people. Those who are ready, those who are listening and have been taking heed to the word. I've been sharing these messages and warnings for a while, and some people brush it off. They think of it as a conspiracy. They think of it as nonsense. But and I'm here to tell you that the word of God says that a you know, prudent man, a wise man sees danger coming and, and prepares for it. We must be vigilant. We must prepare. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on what you should have, what kind of items you should have, for it, you know, not only just spiritually, but physically to prepare for these things that are coming. Guys, the thing is, all the all the moving pieces are in place already. And these things are coming. This isn't the first time that I keep dreaming of a, of a tsunami and war. This keeps God keeps revealing it to me and confirming it to me. The tsunami is not I don't believe it's a physical tsunami. I believe this is a spiritual thing, a, a, a huge wave that is coming to drown people out, to get rid of them, to kill them, to end them. And God's judgment is is here, guys. It's, it, it's here. And judgment starts first in the house of God. That is why it is so important that you are in church, because if God's judgment comes to the church and you're not there, well, guess what? You'll be judged for not being there when you were supposed to be there. This is why it is so important to be connected to a body of Christians. Get involved. Don't just go to church. Be a, Be the church. And serve the kingdom, serve as much as you can, because guys, I, I, as I'm saying this, time is running out and, and, and people will say, well, I've been hearing about Jesus coming for thousands of years and I've been here. And, you know, the word of God says it's usually a wicked generation that's always saying that, oh, we've heard about him coming for a long time and he hasn't come yet. He's not coming. Well, that's wickedness. You think you have time. You think you could buy time. These things are coming. And. And how do we know? Because Jesus said that you you won't know the, the day nor the hour, but you'll know the season. And we see it every single week on the news. It's a different season. My, my wife brought a, a tremendous revelation to me today. She said, you know, we're entering another jubilee, which is a prophetic cycle that happens every 40 years. We're entering it into 2024, 2025, the year of jubilee. So there's so many things, guys. Prophetically, it's coming to pass. When I dreamt this, I've been I've been praying about it. And these things are symbolic with these nations. You're going to see this collision. Uh, 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 prophecy will come to pass of every nation coming against Israel. You see the Palestinians are putting pressure on, uh, on, on Kamala Harris and, and the Democrats to abandon Israel and support Palestine and gang up against it. Guys, we're, we're, we're watching things that were prophesied thousands of years ago come to pass. And when people say, oh, well, the Bible was written by man. Well, those men were very accurate over thousands of years ago to, to tell you which characters would be doing what, how they do it, and all the moving parts. It's coming to pass. God's word is alive. World War III is here. And I, and I believe... That something major and a major event is going to happen before this year ends. And I know people are saying, oh, well, you're just saying that because of elections. Well, it doesn't matter. The major event won't be the election. It'll be events revolving around it to cause distress, chaos. I felt it and I heard it in my spirit. Bloodshed is coming. And we'll, and I didn't even you know pay too much mind to this. But the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the first one is the red horse. And it says that one brings bloodshed. So that was God letting me know that I believe the first a horseman, uh, which is red, uh, is bringing bloodshed, which is going to come, I believe, through war, civil war, uh, uh, um, criminal acts. You know, you have not only just America being invaded by, by you know, you know, illegal immigrants. You have it in the UK. You you have this going on everywhere. You have it in South America. Elections, you know, of dictatorships causing civil wars on the street. You have. So much in Latin America and all through parts out, you know, of the world, the Iranian president was just killed not too long ago. You guys, it's, it's, it's so much. I could go down the list of things. And if you're watching this video, I want you to comment, you know, comment on this video. If the Lord's been giving you, if you've been having dreams of tsunamis and war and different things and share this video, guys, I don't get a lot of views or likes on my videos. I don't do this for for likes or views or, or or anything like that. I just put the word of God out there because I, I want to be a voice in the wilderness. I want to be that 
the voice that that lets other Christians know you're not crazy for dreaming what you're dreaming and feeling what you're feeling and warning them so they can prepare because there's gonna when the power grid and all that stuff goes out, there won't be no more videos. They won't you won't hear, you won't know, but you'll remember this. So please share this video, not for the sake of me, for the sake of this is a warning from the Lord that us as Christians, we must prepare. Noah prepared, Joseph prepared seven years of food, stock up on food, stock up on water. It sounds crazy, I know it. It sounds stupid, I know it. It sounds like hey man, you're a conspiracy theory. I know, but nonetheless. Guys, this, the, the facts are in our face, not just because God's people are saying, but now even the news and, and the media and the world, we know this. <laughs> We're in these days. We're in these days. And I wanted to share this dream. It, it was very, very important and important that we pray for this government and pray for this upcoming election. It is so important. Stop voting on feelings based off of feelings and emotions. Vote based on the word of God righteously amen guys it's all i got for you <laughs> i could go on this topic and go into a message all night but i don't want to bore you out share this video like this video comment your thoughts your feelings what god's been showing you but we're in these days be ready guys amen god bless you guys and i'll see you on the next video amen <laughs>